With a lot to consider when it comes to changes to our education system, the Innovative Education Task Force spent more than a year studying ways to improve K-12 education. And now, the final report is out. It's a unique learning environment for kids here at the Innovation School. Can you see it? Just ask the Executive Director, Maggie Barth. We really try to follow the interests of the child. Given her role with the Innovation School, it makes sense that Barth is on the Innovative Education Task Force. I decided to apply because I, I feel really strongly that education does need to change. Governor Doug Burgum formed the task force in 2017. Here he is at this year's State of the State Address. Our goal, to ensure that our K-12 and higher education systems are best equipped to adapt to new technologies and delivery methods and prepare students for success in the fast-changing digital economy. Just in time for the legislative session, its final report is out. It ranks 10 recommendations. Number one for Barth and the task force. Flexible graduation requirements. Because every student is different. They have different interests and they have different strengths. And when we pin them into a box that they have to do these certain things, um, it limits, it sort of standardizes them instead of letting them be who they are. Sorry kids, that doesn't mean you can graduate by skipping science class. What the idea is, is that let's say instead of you having to take biology, if you're really interested in a different science, you could use that towards your graduation requirements. Right now, students are given credits based on how many hours they're in the classroom, but the task force wants kids to have other ways to earn credits. That might free up some time for students to go do internships or to do, um, work study type um, of work instead of having to be stuck in a classroom to these certain amount of hours and this certain amount of seat time when they're really just checking the boxes at that point instead of growing. It's this kind of flexibility that Barth said is working for her students at the Innovation School.